friends, I am Dr. Swapna Chekuri from Hyderabad Women and Fertility Center. Welcome to my channel. So today let us discuss ki how long the sperm cells can be active in the vagina. So basically they say the sperm survival rate is around 2 to 5 days. So this is when, when the sperm cell when we grow in the culture media in the lab their survival rate is approximately around 2 to 5 days. But in a natural process where all the sperm cells are deposited in the vagina. So we can't assure exactly ki whether the sperm cells will be active for 2 to 5 days or not. Because there will be a lot of vaginal secretions, there will be a lot of cervical mucus, cervical secretions, uterine secretions as well as tubal secretions. So out of these secretions the sperm cells should be able to survive and it should be able to swim up the whole length of vagina, it should cross the cervix, it should enter the uterus and from the uterus it has to enter the tube. That's how the natural fertilization process happens. That's why when the couple is trying naturally, we usually advise after ovulation, let them be together, let them have intercourse on every alternate day because we never know how many hours or how many days the sperm cell can survive in the natural process thing and some individuals they do have anti-sperm antibodies in the vagina itself so when at the time of intercourse when the sperm cells get deposited in the vagina in the presence of anti-sperm antibodies most of the sperm cells will be destroyed so in those cases we usually advise for IUI wherein we can bypass the total vaginal length cervical length and will directly introduce the sperm cells process the sperm cells into the uterus and in those cases the chance of success will be better with IUI uh, so friends uh, and then uh, in some cases see in a young healthy individual the sperm cell can remain active for two to five days but in case if the husband age factor is more or if the sperm motility or morphology if it is poor or if the DNA fragmentation index if it is more then also the chance of survival will be less so that's the reason we usually ask the couple to have intercourse on every alternate days around the time of ovulation so friends if it find if you find this is informative please like my video and share with your friends and needy people thank you and do follow us on instagram and facebook as well thank you mm -hmm.